This is an outpainting that will blow your mind. I've not seen any outpainting that is as good as this. That is primarily because it doesn't do just simply extending the image, but it also uses control net to understand the entire image and then update based on that. So for now, I'm going to show you a quick demo what I've already done. Thanks to Mona Lisa, who's posing for my picture. So this is a part of already diffusers pipeline, which is hugging face pipeline. So you've got this picture, which I, I think downloaded from Wikipedia. And when you've got this one, you can just outpaint it and extend it like this. This is the original picture. Okay. With this original picture, we managed to create this outpainting. And you might find it like quite fascinating because this is very, very neat. You may not find that there is an extension you have stitched it or something. This is an excellent feature. A lot of people use this feature if, you have, if they've got like pixel phones. So one of the one of the key things that Google say in the latest pixel phone is that you can extend the image like you can keep an image inside and then you can expand the image. And this is basically what we are doing. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And then we might see very briefly what kind of model it uses, but not a lot of technical details. First of all, I'll link this hugging face spaces in the YouTube description. Just go here and uh, once you go here, so you can see, you can either drop the image or upload the image. Okay. These are the two things that you can do. They've got a bunch of examples that you want to play with, but if you want to go to the internet and then get an image, you can always do that. So first let's start with the example image that they've given So we'll go with this image. So this is an image, as you can see here, there is a character in the middle and you've got like some uh, ice uh, melting water, pond, lake, something there. So you have two options. One, you can select which aspect ratio that you want this to be expanded, like outpainted. Do you want uh, 9 is to 16 or 16 is to 9? I'm going to go ahead with 9 is to 16 for now. And then I'm going to just select generate. So this is a mask overlap width, overlap width, sorry. Uh, it just basically says how much you want it to overlap. And as you can see here, because we said 9 is to 16, it's basically expanding the portrait. Like it's, it's making it longer and taller. Um, rather than wider. So as you can see here, we have got the image here and uh, it's running on a really good machine, I guess. So it's extremely fast. I'm not sure like if you were to do this on uh, your own GPU, I'm not sure what is the ideal GPU. I'll have to check that. But for now, this is extremely fast. And if you were to implement this as part of your solution, you can um, take this model, which I'll show it shortly and then use it in your own GPU setup. So as you can see here, it has expanded. So you've got the top and bottom expanded. One key interesting observation that you might notice is the original picture doesn't have the bottom of the person. So as you can see here, but it managed to generate the bottom of the person here and also the top of the person. So now you can go ahead and then say, oh, no, 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 I, I don't, I don't want it to uh, long, like make the image taller or longer. I want it to make it wider. So we are going with 16 by nine aspect ratio, click generate. So it's going to make the image wider. And here is that. So we have got the image already which is quite fascinating. And in this case, like the image is already wide, so it doesn't make a lot of difference. So I'm going to go ahead and then use a totally different image. I'm going to show you. So for that, I'm going to go to the internet. I've already searched for Mona Lisa. So we're going to just uh, pick one shot from movie or something, and then we'll take it from there. So I'm going to go to Memento movie and uh, probably pick this one. So this guy from Memento. Okay. So I'm going to open image in new tab. This is going to be an extremely old image. I want to see how it does. Um, this is an example that I did not try before. So like on the go, I just came up with that. Uh, I've got, I've uploaded the image here, just dragged and dropped the image is being uploaded. It's there. I want it to be expanded. So that means I want it to be wider. So I'm going to go ahead with 16 by nine and I'm going to keep the mask overlap with uh, the same overlap with, oh my goodness, generate. And once I do that, I think in three seconds, as you can see, it's denoising and creating the image. I think it kind of did not do a good job here in this particular case, because I think it understands that it to be like a, let's say like a movie poster. So I guess in this particular case, it is trying to create a, like a movie poster kind of a situation. So let's do one more image. So I'm going to go ahead and pick another image. Maybe we should go ahead with the same movie or what? Okay. Let's do with the same movie. So I'm going to go ahead, create a new image. I'm not sure how does it do well with humans. Uh, so we're going to probably see that go back here, drag and drop. And now I think it makes sense for us to make the image longer because it's a wide image already. We've got a wide image and I think maybe that could have been the problem in this case. Also, we have got a wide image and it might be, you know, slightly getting confused about what to do there. So we've got the input image. I'm going to go longer, not wider. 
and I'm going to click generate at this point. And as you can see, it's generating a long image, denoising it. Let's see them. Wow. That is pretty fascinating. Uh, that is super fascinating. I mean, the blazer is intact. The finger is not messed up. I mean, the finger on the back side is messed up. Actually, um, you, you can see he, he looks like an octopus there. But um, if you just like see only this part, uh, the dress is beautiful, I would say. Uh, the Chandler, I don't know what you call this, uh, Chandler, Chandler, that is quite beautiful. I mean, I think the painting, everything looks perfect, like his hair is good. Everything looks amazing uh, if you have expanded this image. So now let's try this. Uh, let's try to expand it widely. I'm not sure if it will be efficient because this image is already a wider image, like you can see here. So the wider thing did not work really well. I think it's kind of doing some kind of smoothening, I would say. But other than that, it doesn't do a lot different. So if you have got a longer image, try to expand it. If you have got a wider image, then, um, you know, you try to make it taller. So 16 by 9 and 9 by 16, this is something that you have to play with. Right now, this doesn't give you any option to define a prompt. But a lot of other outpainting tools would let you create a prompt in which you can do outpainting. Outpainting was rage back in the day when the stable diffusion was there. So about the model in itself. So I went to the code and uh, saw the model so as you can see here one option is go there and then the other options you can go here and then see the linked models so you have got uh, the sdxl va the variable auto encoder fp16 fix i think this is an upscaling one i guess the main one is here so the the control net model is this and uh, the main model so let me open the main model which is the real viz l xl v5 lightning so this is the main model and uh, the model, if you see, the model is also available on uh, Civit AI. So the model is probably from there. So this model does a pretty good job of, I guess, outpainting. Um, that's why they're using this model. So they're using this model with, uh, let's say, uh, the control net model and figure out how to do the outpainting. That's what the code is doing. You've got a lot of different control net options here. So as you can see here, it does a lot of weird things. You can detect human bodies and, um, you know, um, the outer sketches and a lot of other things. So this is this Gradio demo or a Hugging Face Spaces demo is a combination of these two things. This this particular model and this control net. And also, I think they've got an upscaler there. So a combination of these three is what creating this beautiful outpainting that we just saw, which is uh, typically not very easy and possible with a um, lot of other solutions. So this is probably one of the best outpainting that you would see and it is also open weights which means you can uh, implement it in your own solution if you've got an image editing tool a lot of other things i hope this video was helpful to you in learning about a new outpainting solution that is like mind-blowing happy prompting